Hey everyone, it's Mr. Wistar again. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to use something called variable casting to convert values from one variable type to another. Uh, we'll talk about why you need to use variable casting, and we'll go over the syntax of how it works, and then we'll talk about when you would want to do it for primitive variables, and also when you would want to do it with object variables. So, again, what is casting? It's when you take a uh, value that's of one type and convert it to another type. So for example if we have a calculation that comes out as a double but we need to store it in an int variable we have to use variable casting for that. Um, you can cast primitive values from one type to another. You can also cast objects from one type to another type under certain circumstances. And the reason why we need to use variable casting is that uh, it'll prevent some kind of syntax errors that otherwise Java would have that would prevent us from doing certain things in our programs. Again, just to kind of go into a little bit more detail about that, there are a couple of rules that Java has that you need to use variable casting in order to get around. And one of them, especially with number variables, is something called a possible loss of precision error. You might have already seen that in one of your programs. And what that means in simpler terms is Java won't let you assign a double to an int uh, because ints can't store decimals and so you would lose some information. You would lose that precision. And so what you need to do is you have to use variable casting to essentially force Java to convert your double to an int in order for you to be able to store it correctly. With objects, it's a little more complicated. It involves something called inheritance that we haven't talked about a whole lot yet, but essentially if you have a, an object of a certain type that you're actually storing um, with a object reference of uh, one of its parent types, then you can actually use casting to um, tell Java that it's actually the type of object that it says it is. That sounds really confusing, but think about it this way. Let's say you had a triangle object that inherited from the class uh, shape, and you were storing it um, in a shape variable. You were accessing it using a ver uh, variable reference of type shape. Well, Java would only be able to use the methods that are of the shape class unless you specifically told it, hey, this is a triangle. And so you're going to need to use casting for that. And we'll get to a lot more of that um, in AP class when we talk about inheritance. As far as the syntax goes, it really couldn't be any simpler. You just take the quantity that you want to convert and you put the type of variable you want to convert it to in parentheses before that quantity. So in this example here, um, whoops, there's my semicolon. Anyway, you create a variable named uh, value and has the uh, value 3.14159. If we want to store that in an int, we have to put the word int, int in parentheses before the uh, or right before the variable that we're converting. As far as primitive variables are concerned, again, um, anytime you have a double variable that you need to convert to an int, you have to use variable casting for that. There are some other uh, examples of ways that you would want to convert them. You can tell Java explicitly that you want to use, um, if you have an int and you want to convert that to a character variable, a care variable, you can use casting for that or the other way around. If you have a care variable that you want to find out its integer value, its ASCII code value, you can use casting for that. Uh, one important note here though is you can't use casting on a string. Um, if you have a string that you want to convert to an int, you can't just put int in front of it and have it converted for you. You have to use the techniques that we've used before where you take that string and you put it into an integer variable um, to do that conversion. For object variables, again, this has to do mostly with inheritance, and so I'm not going to get into a lot of detail about when you would want to use it here, um, but you have been using it in certain places, and so now it's just a good uh, time for you to understand what you've been doing and why you've been doing it. And the best example is from your graphics labs, where inside your paint component method, um, we have this weird line that, you know, you've just, I've just told you, hey, you have to put this in. Don't worry about what it does. Well, let's talk about what it does now. In the paint component method, there's a parameter that it takes 
of type graphics, graphics G. And G is your uh, variable that you use to do drawing with. But it's actually pointing to not a graphics object, but a graphics 2D object. And so the first thing that you need to do in order to use all of those uh, extra graphics 2D methods, like being able to draw ellipse 2Ds, or arc 2Ds, or other methods that only work with this enhanced graphics 2D class, the first thing we have to do is we have to convert this parameter from a graphics object to a graphics 2D object. And that's what that line of code does. Notice that we create a graphics object, a graphics 2D object, and then we assign it the value of our parameter, but we first used variable casting to tell Java to convert it from a graphics object to a graphics 2D object. If that sounded really long and windy, then I would say just relax. We'll get to more about this in AP when we start talking about inheritance and interfaces. Um, but for now, just understand when you see that variable type in parentheses, you know what's going on. Okay, so in this lesson, um, we talked about how to um, use casting to convert from one variable type to another. We looked at some reasons why you have to do it so that you don't get syntax errors in your program. And then we looked at the syntax um, and the reasons for converting number variables and also, or sorry, primitive variables and also object variables. All right, you're all set.